Shotgun rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. Shotgun rain. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are hopping back into last day on Earth Survival. We are heading into the new level 3. That is right, now that this Bunker Alpha has gotten a revamp, level 3 is now a thing. Lobby has become the new level 1, level 1 is level 2, and we're heading into level 3. Now, you might be like, oh Star, that's not new. No, it is actually a little bit new. If you guys have watched the last episode, if you haven't, I totally encourage you to check it out where we talk a little bit more in depth about the bunker and what changes it has undergone. Some of the bigger ones that have happened is that well, the whole loot system is entirely revamped. There's a whole ton more to loot on each floor and just overall a couple of really cool things like that. So today we are going through level three. It's going to be our toughest to challenge yet in this revamped bunker, but hopefully all goes well. And what I would love to do here is walk out with enough tickets to redeem one of each box. We need 30 of these. Fifth, or 25 of those and 20 of those. So we're walking out of here. If we survive, there will be at least one box. Hello, Frenzy Giant. How do you do? Can I shoot you through that window? That would be so handy, my dude. I don't I don't want to really engage you from 50 million miles away. Uh, good chance our katana breaks, by the way. So that just kind of has me a little bit worried. If it does, eh. You know, worst case, I'll turn on auto fight and hopefully all goes well. All right, there we go. All right, let's turn on auto fight. There we go. And as soon as it breaks... Okay, that's not... Is that a frenzy giant? I don't think that's frenzied. A little bit too fast. Okay, a little bit too fast. We good. We good. Just equip the... Equip that thing. As soon as this guy... Okay, we gotta do this the quick way. If you guys don't know this trick, if you, like, move a little bit between hits, you move... Or you hit way quicker. Hey, we got the level up, too. We're up to level 50, baby. Woo! I don't think I'd get here. Uh, also, as you guys may or may not be able to tell, our armor is totally about to break. Uh, so, ooh, hold on, they dropped some stuff back here. Look at that, got one of those. Our armor's about to break, uh, we'll cash in on some new armor as soon as that happens. So don't you fellers and fellas worry. We'll be good in that department, but still, that's nice. We got up to level 50. That's always feeling handy. Some of our weapons break, which is actually a good thing, because I wanted to take in, really, agua. Do I look thirsty to you? Do I look thirsty in-game to you? Okay, maybe, it's just outside of the game, different. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh. All right, well, what we got to do, what do we have there? Toxic Abomination, and I don't know what else there is. Hopefully not a Frenzy Giant. I am not about to fight that thing, especially with our armor about to break. Uh, but we do still have the AK and the minigun. I don't know. We'll use the minigun if need be. But I'll probably try and keep that safe and sound for as long as possible. Uh, what is that? Toxic Spitter over there. I'm going to try and take out the Spitter really quickly. Yes. Oh, he didn't even notice me. What a good friend. Didn't even notice that his friend, the Toxic Spitter, just pooped on him. Oh, hello, abomination. Yeah, look at that. He did like 20 damage to me, and if we take damage, I still brought the carrots. I got a new batch of carrots ready and rearing to go. Ooh, one of those new tickets. Ooh, one of those new ones. Now, here's the sketchy thing is that, that, ah, Jesus, don't shoot me. Um, I might be, oh, you know what they did? I think we have to destroy that turret anyway now. You know what happened? Oh. I think they changed it where that turret will engage you. Now, for the purposes of this video, what I want to do, I, we'll see if this is ultimately maybe worth it. I want to go through every possible room in this floor and show you guys what each room has. So, you know, if it, it might like, you know, you know what I mean? You guys know what I'm trying to, know what I'm trying to say? Know what I'm trying to put out there? No, can't, can't hit him from here. Come on, mate. There we go. We got the good angle. So if you want to shoot the turret from afar, uh, right next to these two barrels is kind of the sweet spot. And we should be able to take them out. Before our AK is gone. But here's the reason that I actually want to take them out is that, uh, well, you should be able to run past them. But you see up there, like upper right of my screen where the mini map is, uh, usually the turret used to be here. So we didn't really have an angle and you could sneak by. But I think they changed the turret's placement. So he would actually always shoot you when you're running by. Now, is it worth killing him though? That's the question. Is this chest good enough to warrant it? Because you could still run by, maybe take a little bit of damage and not be too much worse off. But what's this chest got? Hello. Uh, I mean, it's got a machete, which isn't too shabby, but I don't know if I'd, I don't know if I'd, you know, destroy the turret for it. Some spray paint, though. I actually wouldn't mind some of that. I'm trying to get some spray paint so I could custom paint our, uh, our chopper. That thing's still kind of like a poopy, normal old color. All right, for now, though. 
There's a toxic abomination in here. Well, there's a couple of... Eh? I wonder if we could sneak by. I made some carrots. Yum, 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 yum. Let's see if, uh, how this goes. Yeah, hopefully... Mr. Fast... Oh, no, they noticed me. Ah, damn it. Whatever, we can take out the fast spiders pretty quickly. And then the abomination shall follow. But yeah, if you guys get a sledgehammer. I think sledgehammers are a pretty common item in, like, airdrops. So this is why I'm telling you. But that is definitely how you want to use it. Because if you just swing it normally here... You see how long it takes in between swings? But if you swing and then just move a little bit... You can hear. Like, you can even hear through the audio. I'm swinging it way faster than this. You hear that? There's like, so that's a nifty little trick for you guys. If you are using a sledgehammer, it's not one of the weapons that you probably want to, you know, do an auto swing with. Now, this room might be worth it. All you have to go through is like a toxic abomination and two little toxic spitters. They drop some tickets and, ooh, some good medical items. Okay, I like what I see. Actually, a perfect excuse to use up those bandits. Oh no, should have used the second one. My math was off. School didn't start yet, okay? My math's off. I'm just like, oh, I have 40 health. Oh, uh, two band-aids ought to do the trick. It's like, no, Star. You're a dingus. It should have been a carrot and a band-aid. Uh, ooh, coupon, though. A little bit of food we could munch on. Rubber parts. Hell yeah, I'm taking those with me on the off chance I forget. Also, a reminder, maybe some of you guys are new. What I do is I try to go through here. I just try to put the most important stuff in my inventory first. And then after the level's cleared, I'll come back and try to take out everything else. Now... Um, what the hell type of bad guys do we have to fight here? Is there Toxic Spitter? I know there's a Frenzy Giant kind of somewhere around these parts. Um, yes, yeah, so there's three enemies in this, like, quote-unquote sector, I guess you could call it. Uh, I better be ready to switch weapons, though, and run from that Frenzy Giant. But, hello, my friend. How do you do? Hey, Toxic Spitter didn't notice. Honestly, that means that if you guys do want to... You don't even have to kill these two. These two right here are optional. I don't know if it was like this before, if this was in the old layout, but check this out. It's not like they're guarding anything down here. Oh no, he aggroed me. Okay, now, well, okay, that's just the spitter. Just watch out. I think once you walk by and the door's open, they're not gonna be too happy. So try to leave that frenzy giant there and try not to walk out <laughs> until you have to, because as soon as you walk by, actually, you could probably sneak by the frenzy giant. Let me see really quickly. Uh, what I wanted to test here, right? Is he looking? Yeah, he's actually looking at the hallway. So I think he's built to catch you through the windows if you're not doing it properly. So just a little bit of a heads up. And also, there's a side room here I totally forgot about. Uh, with the frenzied abomination, I think. Yeah, there's a frenzy giant in there. To hell with it. Let's see what this room has, right? Ooh. Probably want to get another gun. Probably want to get some clothes, too. I'll get both of those things really quickly. From my huge stockpile of things. Stuff and things. That I got from some of the packs that I was able to redeem a little bit earlier. Oh, you know what? I would love some shotgun rain for this scenario. Uh, we've pretty much broken everything else. If he breaks our pants, so be it. But he shouldn't... I don't know. I put on the armor just in case he does catch up to us. As is. Hello? Yeah, no. He. Okay, I was going to say. Like, we're not sneaking past him. That's not happening. Shotgun. Rain. Shotgun rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. Shotgun rain. Uh... Probably could use something else for that last hit. But someone was telling me, too, that all the stuff that these guys drop is random. I agree with that. That's probably true. But what I'm saying is that I think Frenzy Giants have the best chance of dropping the red tickets. The normal zombies have the best chance of, like, the green tickets. And probably, like, the, all the middle zombies have the best chance of, like, the yellow tickets. Like, I don't know. That makes sense to me. And through the last couple floors we've cleared out, that's kind of what I've noticed. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys my input there. You know, what I've seen. Uh, why don't we go back to a melee weapon, too? We'll use up the machete a little bit. Our sledgehammer's all broke up. But that's alright. Machete's not too shabby. I'll take it. Ooh, you know what we could do, too? If there's, like, a frenzy giant here? I wonder. Do we have enough range on the AK? We do for the toxic spitter. I don't really care about the toxic spitter enough to use my AK on it, though. So, alright. Let's start heading back up this way. Just a couple spitters. I think we ought to be able to take them out. See, the good thing about spitters in the bunker and stuff is that they're total pushovers. Like, like, what, what are they gonna do? They can't even spit on me. Although, they can do some damage, that's for sure. Oh god, don't hurt me. I have a family, I swear. They're really nice, you should- I'll invite you over to dinner, my friends. No resources to collect. Yeah, you're right, no resources. Uh, a little bit of carrot stew to eat. But yeah, toxic spitters, I'm so happy that they can't spit underground, because if they could, uh, we'd be pooped on. Like, super honest, they would mess some things up. <gasps> Alright, we got through that. 
Now, here's what I was saying. I think the turret would have range on us if we shot from there, which is the one thing that kind of, like, worries me. I think there's a... That's just a toxic abomination. If there's no frenzied giants here, then so be it. That's not too shabby. I didn't bring a crowbar this time because we are going to go through this the hard way. If you guys know what I mean, and I think you do know what I mean when I say that. Hello, toxic abomination. I will engage you. But yeah, there's that easy way we can go with the crowbar. We're gonna not go that way. Oh no, my pants. I'll put on the pants. Yay! I am now a panted man. Before, I was pantsless, but now I have gone through the pants process. And we have survived. Now, what I normally would do is go through here, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna go on the death wish known as seeing what the hell is in this room. God knows that that's gonna go well. I know that there's multiple frenzied giants and stuff. Uh, well, so far it's just toxic abominations. Honestly, I think this room got a little bit easier by the looks of it. I will take that to the bank. Ugh. And the good thing too, oh, this thing swings pretty slow. But the good thing I was gonna say is that the rest of the people aren't aggroing me, which is actually really handy. Oh, nice. And there's also this side room with a double treasure chest. That has to be a frenzy giant. Yeah, I was gonna say. No way. Those are- oh, those are nicer treasure chests too. Ooh la la. I am intrigued by what I see. This isn't- this hasn't been too rough to clear out though. I mean, the hardest part is always just the frenzy giants. After that, it's not really that bad. Like, I, I feel like we're doing pretty okay. Uh, they're probably gonna see me, right? Yeah. Alright. Machete. I'll machete them. I'll give them a nice quick- a bit of an easy death here. Yeah, see you later, Toxic Spitters. Get some more munching, dude. I've never had carrot stew in real life, but listen. If I take, like, a bullet wound or a zombie bites me, this game has taught me to whip up some carrot stew, and I will live. Alright? So listen, if a zombie apocalypse ever happens, you have my word. Carrot stew will heal you. Carrots and vitamin C and all those other, like, vitamins named after letters of the alphabet. Those are very importante. Now, which way is this guy facing? Now, we could try to finesse a quick hit in on him. Oh, yeah, you can get a hit in on him. It's gonna be sketchy, though! Ho, ho, ho! Oh, I can't believe we got that off. That always scares me so much. All right, now, you can eat some shotgun rain, my friend! Shotgun rain! Down with you. Give me your ticket and your loot. Ooh, new hit single coming from Star Snipe. I'm gonna be on Spotify soon. Don't you worry, guys. It's gonna be a great hit single. Uh, ooh la la. Not even too shabby here. No weapons or nothing amazing. That's something that you guys seemed to say in the last episode, too, and I want your opinions on this. What do you think of the bunker now versus before? Because a lot of people are saying that, like, they don't like the bunker as much as before. Like, I guess it's easier to get stuff from it, but the thing that really changed about it is that it's harder to do, do a lot of things in it. And there's a frenzy giant up there, too, really. Oh man. Um, we have to deal with these dudes. The saw blade, my way. But yeah, a lot of people said that, like, all the loot they give isn't, like, as epic in the end, you know? You know what I'm talking about there? And yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, sweet! He didn't even aggro me! Hell yeah! We might, even, we might be able to get a sneak attack in on him. Oh, that'd be nice. Now, I should be saving the saw blade mace for, like, sneak attacking. Sneak attacking the frenzy giant, actually. But, eh. I guess I just got worried I'm trying to save inventory room and all that stuff, but okay, here's what I was saying. This frenzy giant is not gonna see us coming, but I do want to be at full health, just in case he does see. Cause I am worried that he would poop on us. Well, I'm not worried, I know that he would poop on us, so... <sighs> okay, that always sketches me out, cause I tried it that one time with the sledgehammer, and did not work. Did not work at all. Shotgun rain! Some stay dry and others feel the pain. Oh, he felt the pain. Every limb of that... This giant's body <laughs> felt the pain. Uh, why don't we go over to the machete? Oh no, there's a frenzy giant up there too. Oh Jesus, he's trying to hit me through the wall! Ah! You guys hear that noise? Oh, nope. I'm noping the hell out of there. That could have been awful. Oh! Oh yeah, he wanted, he wanted blood. He doesn't even want my brains. This man just wants blood. Sorry, I went like full auto on him. Uh, we could try to get a hit in on him with the machete too. See how that goes. Uh... Hiya! Okay, okay, okay. If, you, if you're if using a fast enough weapon, you can't sneak in that last hit in on him before he notices. And they did change the layout a little bit. Terminal's here now. Uh, but instead, what you have here is another loot chest, so... There's a lot more loot, a lot more spread out. That's what I'm getting from the bunkers so far. But in terms of, like, 
how good the loot is, they're definitely a bit lacking. I'm going to start taking aluminum with me, to be honest. That's pretty good stuff. I can't wait to smelt it down. Uh, terminal activation, of course. I got to activate the terminal first. I don't know why it does that. Maybe so you can't, like, sneak by super easily. Uh, but speaking of sneaking, back to the sneaking lifestyle. Let's see. Uh, we got the toxic spitter here. Oh, no, I almost got the sneak attack in. That was close. Whatever. A couple of you guys, give me your tickets. Honestly, though, I don't know. This floor is seeming a little bit more manageable than last time, at least. Maybe I know what I'm doing this time. Maybe I know what to expect. That's the only thing I could come up with. Uh, what is that? Two... Is that two... Abominations? I don't know what that thing is up there. It's like invisible. Oh, that's a giant. Damn it, man. I don't want to deal with those. I don't think anyone wants to deal with those things. Uh, yeah, you know what we could do, though? We'll get a nice sneak attack in on this abomination. We can definitely sneak off to the side of him. He won't know. Oh, he noticed. He noticed. Ah! Damn it. All right, let's get you an auto fight here. I'm going to give you the machete instead. Let's start healing you with that carrot stew. As long as that frenzy giant ain't coming after us, I'm not too scared. Hey! Another level up. Another one. We're up to 51. Another one levels up. Ba -doo boom 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 Another star level up. It's gonna be my theme song. Someone! Someone who's musically talented, write me a theme song. <laughs> Just like, oh my god, no. You don't have to. Don't worry. It was more of a joke. But if you really want to write me a theme song, hey. I won't not accept it. You know what I mean? Okay, and I'm gonna try to finish him off with the machete. Yet again. Oh, this this makes my hands sweat, man. Holding a phone with sweaty hands is sketchy. Hey oh, Jesus. He's always so close to finishing his hit, man. He's like right there. It's like you're about to get punched in the face by a 700-pound zombie. And you kill him right before and he just stops in his tracks. It's sketchy, dude. It's hard to get used to. Especially seeing what that man has done to my comrades. Have you seen what he's done to my comrades? The word that I love to pronounce in a weird way because weird pronunciations are the bomb. Hashtag potassium nitrati. <laughs> if you guys watched the 7 Day series, you would know about that. Speaking of that, hey, if you guys are just here for this series, by the way, I'm letting you know right now, I'm honestly thinking you might really like 7 Days to Die as a survival game. I know a lot of you guys probably like playing this game, though, because it's on mobile. It's a lot easier and all that. We didn't loot this either, too. Uh, but still, I thought, hey, might as well suggest it, see what you guys think. Check out an episode. You know, if you like it, maybe start from the beginning of the series. But right now, I got a super cool series going on. With like base building, attacking, guns, all that. Kind of like a first person last day. A little bit less grindy too. Oh, another one. Man, for real, how many of these people do I have to put up with? Uh, I might be able to get a hit off on them with the saw blade mace. But trust me when I say this is going to be a sketchy ass hit. Oh, no, 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 no. Not happening, not happening. Shotgun rain though will be happening. Eat shotgun. Rain. Oh, start running. That's the thing. I don't know what happens. My phone, like, lags a little bit. Sometimes when I shoot him. All right. Time for the sweaty... The sweaty machete. <laughs> I gotta put that on a shirt. Sweaty machete time! Ah! Oh my god, that was even closer than last time. I am done doing that, man. I don't want to go through any more sweaty palms or spaghetti. I'm done with it. I'm sick of the sweaty spaghetti. There's sweaty machete. I don't, dude. Mom's spaghetti. That's all that matters. You ever had mom spaghetti? It's good. Hello! Okay, dude. Out of this floor, I'm finding, like, the most rubber parts I have ever found in my life. And that's amazing to me. Because rubber parts are amazing. Another frenzy giant. God damn it. Again, I'm showing you guys, though. This is... I'm going through all these rooms. Remind, like, I'm not doing it because I know it's a good idea. Or I know it's a bad idea. I'm doing it to find out. I'm doing it to share the word with you guys. And sweet mama, we are getting a lot of rubber parts. Hells to the yeah. Uh, okay, we, do we have any more shotguns? Or just guns that shoot from not within the reach of that thing? Yeah, we got another shotgun. All right, buddy. It is, uh, this is going to be something. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully there's just a frenzy giant, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Eat shotgun. Haha. <laughs> I think he ate it pretty well. How's that taste? I've never tasted shotgun rain. I'm immune. I'm the messiah of shotgun rain. I don't taste what I preach, you know what I mean? I just dish it out. All right. It's time for that part. That part, that part, that part. Sweaty machete. Oh, no. Dude, my hands are the sweatiest they've ever been. Oh, yeah! oh my god! Dude, it seriously gets closer every time. I gotta stop doing that. 
Like, I, I know I can survive one hit, but I'm still very sketched out because it's like, what if? What if I don't? And it's like, uh, don't say such words. This is a pretty good chest, though. The type of chest that you open, too, does have a pretty big effect in what you're gonna get. So these types of chests usually have pretty good loot. Uh, got some okay stuff, like, you know, nothing, nothing super amazing there, but pretty solid. Alright, so now it's time to activate the terminal. There's like a couple of rooms left. There's not a lot, but there is. What's that do? That disables the lights, right? Okay. So that lets us take like an alternate path, which we will take, but we'll also take the main path. Because again, our goal here is not to be efficient. It's to show you guys everything that level two has now got in its arsenal. So far, that's been a lot of things. Uh, abomination. Okay, I could deal with some toxic abominations. No biggie. I might want a new melee weapon though. Mine are kind of going bad. Yeah, why don't we try to pick something up? I'll take anything, dude. If I got a Spike Devastator even in here, I usually bag on that thing, but it's not even that awful. Uh, so I'll... What I want to do here is I want to engage these guys in a fight. There might be like a Frenzy Giant a little bit further down. So I'm just trying to engage like only these guys. Hiya! Okay, okay. Oh, I engaged everything. I engaged everything. Whatever that is, it's a little bit slower. Okay, now we got this. Let's engage Otto. Let's uh, give him the katana. Use a couple of carrot stews. Katana's about to break. Or not the katana, the machete. And then we go back to the katana. And that's how you get rid of the, any low durability weapons. Without too much of a doubt that, hey, you know, I might die. No worries. You know, if you do it that way, I'd say you're pretty, pretty, pretty good in the clear. We are out of carrot stew, though. Which really sucks. Because carrot stew is pretty dope. But, you know what else is dope? The amount of tickets we're getting. We're at 23 red ones. We might walk out of here with enough to get one of each crate, which would be absolutely amazing. That'd be totally like 100%. Like, that's kind of the goal that I was going for. I want to show you guys one of everything. Kind of close to that. Uh, we got some more stuff down here. We got some uh, angry looking things over there. Oh, that's the final room, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Huh. Well, what do we have here? Ooh. Another one of each. Dude, I feel like the bunker gives a lot of aluminum now. I really like it, but... We're gonna try and go through the room of death, as I call it. You know why? Have you seen how many things there are here? It's, uh... It's quite a bit. There's a way to do this without getting everyone's attention. We're not doing it that way. We are trying to get everyone's attention. Uh, so what I would like to do here is to... Take out one of you and run like hell so the frenzy giant doesn't catch us and then i'll fight you guys down the road and hopefully not die because they're gonna be doing a lot of damage okay let's hope for the best take out these guys oh mama yeah we're gonna have to there we go yeah there's a frenzy giant coming too so we got to be careful i'm using my first aid kits a little bit leniently too like i don't want to die here especially if like some armor breaks or something I don't see the Frenzy Giant coming yet. Maybe it was all Toxic Abominations. I'd be pretty happy with that. Alright, last one. There's gonna be a lot of loot, too. But I wonder if the stupid chest in there was worth multiple first aid kits. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a little bit ballsy. But hey, they dropped a lot of stuff, so as a bonus. I mean, that's the thing, too. If you go out of your way to kill one of these guys, it's not... Oh, they didn't drop a lot. They dropped, like, a couple. Weak sauce. That's the good thing that I was going to say, is that, you know, all these guys drop stuff now. So, it's a little bit handy, even if, you know, they're protecting loot. They're also protecting the loot on them, if that makes sense. They're protecting their own tickets, kind of. I think that's a good way of wording it. Uh, we got just enough health for a perfect bandage use. We'll take some of those. I'll start taking the pieces of cloth, too. I'm going to start collecting those, bringing them back. Again, I'm taking all of them back. Maybe not all at once, but I will come back with an empty inventory and pick them all up when we know that we're safe. Right now, I'm trying to keep my inventory flexible in case something really good pops up. Maybe something even that'll help us right in the moment. Uh, spitters. That's all that I see. As long as there's not a frenzy giant, like, this could work out. Yeah, you know what? This will be okay. There we go. Oh, I could've got another sneak attack in on the guy. Hold on. You gotta go first, Toxic Spitter. You're gonna be doing damage to me this entire time if I don't take you out. Alright, Abomination. You almost done there? You done wailing on me, buddy? Yeah, I think he's good. What do we have? Another ticket. They got nothing. We got the generator. I don't think we can even power that thing, though. Um, I don't think we have to. Or do we? I don't know entirely. What's in there? Coupon? Okay, I'll take that. What about on this generator? 
take time to restore it. Yeah. So, that's not happening right now. We still got a little bit of katana left. So yeah. Might be good to get that backup melee in here. Literally, like, the first melee thing that pops up, I'll take it. I, like, a golf club? Sure. Sure. As bad as the golf club is. <laughs> I'll take it. Actually, no, nah, I'm taking a good weapon. That's kind of a waste of a golf. I'll use the golf club on, like, weaker things, you know? I do want a solid weapon for this. Um, why do I have spears and stuff? Not golf clubs. Give me, like, give me something good here, game. I don't want to use my guns. There's the katana. I don't know. Katanas are such a good weapon. I seriously love them. We have the full durability one. Our clothes are about to go, too. That's not good, but... Oh, it's just one guy. Look at that. Let's get a hit in on you. And... Let's activate auto. Go to this one. Use that all you can. Come on, use it up, my buddy. Use it up. If I have to. Oh, nice. You dropped him. Good stuff, man. So he's dead. On to the next couple rooms. We're almost done with this floor. There's a frenzy giant in there. God dang it, Bobby! I don't know- I don't know what Bobby has to do with this, but god dang it, Bobby. Why you gotta do this? Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna have to... Take you out this way. I don't think you could really sneak attack him. Actually... You could've. I kinda didn't do that the best way now that I think about it. You know what you could've done? Is shot him- Oh, Jesus! That's electrified? That's- I totally forgot that happens. Uh... Let's use one of those. Oh, no. I was gonna say, you could've shot him through the fence if you got through on the other side. Probably could have got away with that, but hey, he's protecting loot, so I'm down with it. What you got here? More tickets. Five red ones short. We're gonna be cutting it close, but I think we might get it. I feel pretty confident. Is this the? Are these the walls that hurt me, or are these just normal walls? I'm not even gonna bother risking that or going down that way, because I'm scared of what awaits me. Uh, hello, toxic abomination. I hope your friend doesn't aggro on me. Uh, hello. Okay, his friend didn't aggro on me. Good stuff, good stuff. Because I think his friend might be a frenzy giant. Don't quote me on that, but... No, just a toxic little spitter. Alright. Why don't we use this thing that's about to break? We can one-hit him. That's like 100 damage. Boop! You're dead. More tickets. We might have two green crates to redeem after this, but we're almost at the end. Like I said, I let that one frenzy giant live. If we are one red ticket short, though, I'll probably go back and fight him. Uh, just to see, but okay. Back to the katana. What do we have here? Uh, toxic abomination and a frenzy giant. My two favorites. Okay, you know what I might do? I might try and open this up really quickly. So I can run through it. Because I don't want to run through the slow area. That's going to get me killed. Uh, terminal activation. Oh, we got to activate the terminal. Okay. Oh, this kind of opens both doors. I guess that makes sense. Opens the one to run back like a little girl. Hello. So if we need to, we could run back that way. But I would rather not, because I might aggro that one frenzy giant. So, uh, hello, friends. How do you do? How, how are you? Yeah, just, uh, screw it. Just get over here. Oh, we just aggroed the toxic abomination again. Dude, I think for real, the toxic abominations have, like, a smaller aggro range or something. Because we were able to take them out super easy. Or, like, to get them aggroed super easy. I'm going, I'm using the first aid kit now. I know I could have waited, but... There's something very sketchy on the other side of this. Our friend known as the Frenzy Giant. I would rather not play games with him. I would rather just aggro him. And take him out super quickly. Alright, we'll try to take him out with the katana. The last hit of this katana. Oh, Hadouken! Okay, he's done. Gorgeous. Hey, another combat ticket. So hopefully there's enough big ones to take out from up there. But like I said, emergency. We got the last one we could do. So here's what people were saying, is that the loot at the end is apparently a lot worse than what it used to be. I will see, I will investigate just how true this claim is, what we got. Yeah, it's, it's pretty worse. Cannot, cannot disagree with that. Definitely worse than what it used to be, which sucks, because it used to be so good, you know? Uh, what do we have to face here? A couple spitters, yeah. Just, just start coming after me, fellas. Uh, I'm thirsty too. Start coming, yeah, there we go. Is it all spitters? Oh, no way! It should be easy. They're gonna gang up on me, but it should be pretty quick. Hey, a level up too. Didn't have to use the first aid kit. Perfect. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna drop enough combat tickets, so maybe we'll find some in the loot. But, ooh, all of our clothes broke too. Ooh. I think that's the better way of phrasing it. Ooh. Uh, so I think we might be a little bit short on red tickets, which sucks. But, there is still a little bit of hope left. We already got that. That was like the acid bath we got. 
There's still this. I don't think it's gonna have enough though, so I'm just gonna let that frenzy giant live, because it doesn't matter. And ooh, pants though, I'll take those. Take some wires in. I believe there you oh no, we got one more. One more thing to loot. And then over to the gas area, but eh, I think I don't have the gas mask to go through that, sadly. If you're fast enough, I think you can, but I am not that. And there you have it. We have cleared out the floor. That is what every room contains, the types of things they have. All that jazz, easy access for you guys. Not going in there. I like living. I'm thirsty for liquids, not gases. So there you have it. Level three of Bunker Alpha has been defeated, minus the Frenzy Giant. But hey, we're four tickets short of the combat gear anyway. So eh, what you gonna do? And I think if we go back to level two, it's not gonna change anything. Like I'll go here for a sec just to show you guys that hopefully nothing respawned because we still have the time to clear the bunker. So nothing should have respawned, but we'll go on back. I gotta get some. I gotta get the water situation figured out soon too. And there you go. Yeah, there's not a generator on this floor though, which is weird. There's one on the other one, but not here. And I think I've gone through like every room, so I haven't missed anything. But yeah, there you have it. So why don't we go and redeem? We have two crates that we could get at least though, and then probably after like a little bit more of a bunker alpha run. We'll be able to have more, uh, we'll, have, we'll have enough red tickets for what we're looking to do, which is awesome. But for now, the big finale of the episode, which you guys may have been waiting for. Maybe you're waiting to see what each room has, which I hope I showed you guys well enough. The finale. The part where we show what we can get from these boxes. Oh, it is that time. Redeem it, baby! What's the survival kit got? Look at that. It just brings it out here. That's so awesome. Oh, mama! Okay, this is not as pushover as I thought it'd be. This is dope. <laughs> engine parts even. Dude, engine parts are a struggle and a half. Oh my god. Oh, mama. Oh, yeah, boy. I, that is, whew. What about this? What's this got? It says it's got weapons. Let's see. See, I wonder if there's more crates that show up or if I can only get them one time. It's not even, this is not that shabby. Ladies and gentlemen, this is like, this is solid at the very least. So I gotta do a little bit of like, and I'm just gonna drop, we have one hit left of that katana. I'm gonna start picking up these weapon parts. Uh, we got a lot of good stuff. That makes me very excited to see what the hell this one has. If we were getting these types of guns from here, I wouldn't be surprised if that last one was like a minigun or something. 100% for cereals here. I would expect a minigun. Or it wouldn't, I don't know if I'd expect it, but it wouldn't surprise me. But there you have it. That is what is left in these chests. Ow. Oh God. Uh, I'm a little bit thirsty. This is bad. I'm going to just eat a lot of baked beans because baked beans give you hydration. And there you go. We got like 30 thirst. I'll take it. But yeah, it's going to go ahead and wrap it up me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Let me know what you thought of level three and what you think of these crates so far. And don't you worry. We will return and we will see what the hell is over there. Because it, to me, man, it looks like there might be something pretty nice. But other than that, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves a fan freaking fantastic day. And I will talk to you in the next one. See you.